They guard our stuff, guide the blind, and turn our houses into homes, and yet offer so much more. Both dogs and cats are being called upon to alleviate the stress and anxiety of hospitalized patients and others who need a little puppy love to brighten their day. For many residents of nursing homes, worry, anxiety, and boredom are far too common. But now, thanks to new guidelines and groups of dedicated people, therapy pets can bring a little sunshine into the lives of these patients. In a never-before-attempted study, the American Heart Association has shown scientifically that pets can help alleviate anxiety and ease the fears of hospitalized patients. Levels of stress hormones decrease, and important vital signs, such as blood pressure, actually showed improvement when compared to patients who did not get to interact with pets. Doctors were not surprised by the fact that a pleasant visit from a furry friend or pet therapy had measurable positive effects on the health of a patient. And it is certainly not a surprise to the Delta Society. This group has spent the last 30 years promoting the benefits of pet ownership as well as how interactions with animals can help people with societal, physical, or cognitive disabilities. Likewise, Therapy Dog International also works with training dogs and cats for visits with hospitalized patients. Unlike service dogs who are often picked for breed-specific characteristics, therapy dogs can be any breed as long as the temperament is sound and the pet passes the AKC Canine Good Citizens Test. About 20,000 dogs and cats currently serve as therapy pets across the U.S. and Canada. Besides hospitalized patients, therapy pets can also be used in physical therapy to help teach motor skills, assist with stroke victims, and even help people with mental disabilities learn daily chores. And because of their unconditional love, therapy pets can bring joy and happiness to a day that may have started without either. One comment across the board was that these pets seemed to know the patients were sick and they were extra gentle with them. This is a great program, and they do not have to be purebred dogs or cats to be a therapy pet. A lovable mutt works great. For Pet Care TV, I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys reporting.